One of the best secrets in staying positive in life, especially in situations like this uh, with COVID-19 and the pandemic, is that you celebrate your small wins. You celebrate the good things. In Tagalog, lasap lasapin mo, nam namin mo yung mga magagandang buhay na nangyayari sa yo, so that it really seeps in into your heart, so that it surrounds your overall vibe para talaga maging positive ka. And with that said, I wanna do this simple video to celebrate uh, a sneaker. It's a sneaker that I've been trying to get, a sneaker that I've been hunting for for the last maybe one year. So it's actually from New Balance. So people who are usually pro Nike, pro Adidas might get disappointed uh, and, and and think na oh hindi naman hype yan eh. But this is something that I love. This is something that I like. It's a sneaker that I love to wear and it just looks kick ass. And finally, I was able to get the opportunity to buy it uh, in my size and it just arrived yesterday. And for today's episode, I want to unbox it, share the positivity and the joy with you guys. And yeah, yun lang. Let's go. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving this away. It's a Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Earphones. Uh, it's great for gaming, great for listening to music, and all you have to do, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, like our Facebook page. The links to all of those can be found down below. So the sneaker that I'm going to unbox and do an on-feet review for you guys is this one. This is the New Balance collaboration with New York-based shop Engineered Garments. And if you know me, and if you know this channel, then you should know that I love the New Balance 990 V5. Sobrang sarap sa paa. It is one of those few sneakers that if you wear it the whole day, and you clock in thousands and thousands of steps, you won't have major feet fatigue. Sobrang panalo talaga. And I just love the subtle look, the fire vibe. It's not super hype, and it's not like off-white. But it just works, and, and it, it's such an amazing shoe. And this one is their collaboration, a New Balance with Engineered Garments. Now, when this came out last year, I wasn't able to get it. I tried hard to look for it, but finally, somebody was selling it on Facebook. Shout out to Tim, and I got it yesterday. So, I take you box. Niya. You have the New Balance logo. You have Engineered Garments, New York written along the side. This sneaker is made in the USA, not in China, uh, and this is size 12. So. Let's pop the sneaker, the sneaker, the box open. Ba bam, guys. Ito siya. Oh. Ah, bago pakita sa inyo. Hindi talaga siya mukhang hype. Ah. I mean, hindi talaga siya like maraming kulay at may nakasulat. Simple lang, pero sobrang panalo yung pagkagawa and the materials are just crazy good. So this is what the sneaker looks like. So it's dominantly black, as you guys can clearly see. Uh, you have different materials ranging from leather. This patch over here. Guys, tignan nyo how nice that leather is. It actually shines a little bit depending on the angle that the light bounces off. Sobrang ganda ng build. And apart from the look, it also helps with the foot containment para panalo yung sukat ng paa mo sa loob. Then you have the mesh here at the toe box as well as the sides to be able to give, give, to give your feet breathability and flexibility. Then you have this nice weight here along uh, the eyelets. And this one is like fine suede. It's not yung suede na mabuhok. It's just the right type na medyo social. And then you have this leather part here at the toe box to protect your toes as well as to give you better containment. Uh, you have the midsole of the 990 V5 which I'll talk about uh, during the on-feet. Basically, it is end cap uh, which is the best technology of New Balance when it comes to cushioning. And then, yeah, super excited. So it's an all-black sneaker some sort of like green, gray accent here at the middle. But this, wow. I, mm, panalo! So what we're going to do I'll put this on feet and then I'll share with you guys more observations about the feel of the shoe. Okay, so we're here at my home gym area and we're here at the rubber mats. And check out my Monstars Space Jam socks. <laughs> By the way guys, it's just now that I noticed. So if you take a look at this one, the accent is here at the top. So parang gray-green siya uh, near the laces. But if you take a look at the left pair, which is cool, uh, this one uses black, and then that color actually moves over to the left side. So the left panel of this has that green-gray color, leather here at the back of the heel, but the other pair is all black. So there is that like different vibe per shoe, 
going on, which is just a nice added touch uh, to the overall style. And again, take a look at that leather. Oh. It's not cheap at all. It looks really good. Runs along the side and here at the back naman of the shoe. So this one, ito, suede, pero this one, leather. So it's the little things, I guess, na I missed when I was just looking at one shoe. So yeah, let's put it on feet. So let's go. So here you guys have it. This is the New Balance 990 V5 by Engineered Garments. And that red thing peeking <laughs> is actually from my socks, uh, which is from Stan's. But anyway, uh, I'm happy I went through to size. Sobrang ganda ng fit. Uh, swak na swak. Enough room for the toe box, so it's not tight at all. It's not constricting. Feels really good. The cushioning with the 990 V5 is not as soft as your typical foam-based running shoe uh, like the Ultra Boost or the React, but it is far more stable and sobrang ganda ng support. Hindi talaga mangangala yung paa mo. And that is already based from experience because I have worn a ton of 990s from the V4s, V3s, and V5s in the last few years, even for traveling situations outside the Philippines. So in terms of comfort and cushioning, it is definitely a big check. Now in terms of style, yung gusto ko talaga dito is that if you look, it, it looks plain uh, with one glance, but if you take a closer look, and you see the difference of the color blocking per pair, you actually get appreciated more and see how nice the design is. Lalo na when you see the shimmer uh, of the black leather here at the heel, or dito sa kabilang pair niya, dito sa lateral side, it just looks really good. So it's one of those like subtle, uh, beautifully designed, the beauties and the details kind of sneaker. Not too loud, not too crazy, just right, classy, elegant, and awesome. Since we're here in the home gym, this is my One Punch Man uh, Saitama statue together with our PLDT home Wi-Fi uh, prepaid thing. So yeah. Now as you guys can probably tell from what I just mentioned during the on feet, I am loving the overall uh, feel and vibe of the shoe. Uh, and we're not yet done. So that's the 990 V5 engineered garments. Next I'll show with you another sneaker that I got from Tim. Uh, so this is the box of the 990 V5 uh, engineered garments. This one naman uh, is a new 990, uh, 991, sorry, New Balance 991 uh, made in England. So New Balance made in England 1982, New Balance brown carton box. If you pop it open, it says over here, made in England. So premium shoe offering. Uh, has been constructed by our top craftsmen in Cumbria due to the famous Lake District. Wow, panalo! And this is what the shoe looks like. So it is gray, kind of similar to the V5 grays that I have. So it's kind of like the gray 990 that I have, uh, but this one is a 991. So the difference is actually very, very noticeable. You have a smaller N. Uh, this one, the construction is more on the suede side. The, the mesh is more visible. New Balance 991. The tongue design on this one is definitely also different. So the overall shape is also different compared to the 990s. But 991s are also super comfortable. They're great shoes, all around shoes. And this one is your, well, it's just a nice gray sneaker. So shout out again ulit kay Tim for the hookup on this pair. Okay guys, that's actually it for our vlog for today. Nothing too complicated. Just, just, just really celebrating being able to find the sneakers that I've uh, wanted to buy for a while now. But anyway, uh, before we end, a couple more of reminders. If you guys didn't see my unboxing of this, this is a very special shoe by the way. Uh, this is the Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott that I overpaid for. I paid 71000 for this. Yes, that's overpriced, but you really have to see the story. So I'll put the link down below to why I bought this at the price that I bought it for because there is a very special reason why I cop this shoe. It's really, and it's related to what we're going through right now with the COVID-19 virus. Also, I just want to announce that we will be reopening our merch store. So that is Project 7 to 1. Uh, and we are reopening it maybe last week of April. We will take your orders and we'll start shipping out people who order their shirts bags and different merchandise as soon as the ECQ ends, maybe around first or second week of May. A part of everything that we sell will go to uh, like a donation bin that we will use to help with relief efforts for COVID-19 and the coronavirus. So I have one of the shirts here. So this is the Dreamer vertical shirt. So you have Dreamer written at the middle, dash of orange, orange period as well. 
And then if you take a look at the bottom right, you have the 7 to 1 squad logo. And we also have the definition of what the dreamer is on the lower left part of the shirt. So the shirts are available. Check them out. Uh, we're also going to sell socks and we're also going to sell uh, the gadget organizer that I think a lot of uh, people who've been following this channel have been wanting to get. Again, proceeds of that, there will be a certain percentage uh, that will be given to charity work as well. And for a power up words of wisdom for the day, I'll just go back to what I said at the start. Guys, if you want to have a more positive outlook in life, there are three things that you can do to do that. Number one, you celebrate your wins. You celebrate your victories. Lasapin ninyo, namnamin ninyo, feel it, imbibe it, and let it seep through your body, your mind, and your heart. Because you cannot give something that you do not have. You cannot be something that you are not. So if you want to be more positive, you have to celebrate the good things in life. Number two, try to surround yourself with positive people. Try to get people who will cheer you on around you. Try to get people who will speak life into your life uh, because that's what, again, what you need to have and maintain a positive outlook. And number three, I would highly recommend that you lessen uh, following negative sources of negativity uh, in this day and age. So it might be all of the news that you're reading. It might be all of the tweets that you're seeing. So you might want to re-examine who you follow, why you follow them, and be more strategic with what the type of content you feed your head and you feed your heart. So maybe try to follow more encouraging people, try to follow more uh, positive, not the toxic positive kind of people, but, but just general people who speak hope more than you know speaking just a false sense of positivity if you guys know what i mean you don't have to unfriend people who are negative but you can unfollow them you can mute them for a while and when this is all over and things are more relaxed and more normal then you can follow them again so that's a bit of advice that i can give you guys today and with that said i hope you guys enjoyed our video as usual peace god bless what's up boom